To start an inspection, locate the building in the Scheduled tab. Use the search tool to help locate the building if necessary. Click the building name. You will see the building details, a list of the systems and assets that need to be inspected, and contact information. If the notepad icon is white, tap the notepad to see the notes left for you from the office. Tap Inspect in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Tap the form, system, or asset you'd like to start inspecting. It is up to you how you'd like to perform the inspection. You can work your way down the list or jump between systems, assets, and forms depending upon the breakdown of the building. The inspection is broken up into question sections and follows a yes, no, NA, or text field format. Most inspect point systems default inspection answers to yes. However, your system may be set up different. Some companies choose to have all inspection answers default to no, NA, or nothing at all. In our example, we'll be using the system default of yes. As you work your way through the inspection, you may need to note a deficiency. In this example, the FDC caps and plugs are missing. To mark it deficient, we click no. Here, we can attach notes and photos by tapping the notes button. Use the iPad camera to document with photos and use the note fields to leave notes and internal notes. Internal notes are only visible to those in the office. They do not print on the final inspection report. Notes will only display on the generated report. Another thing to note is that the first time you use the camera, you must grant inspect point access to the camera and the photos. When done adding photos and notes, tap save. And now you try. Mark a question deficient, add a note, an internal note, and a photo. In this example, we're not only going to add a note and photo like we did before, we are going to assign a status. By assigning a status of critical to this, the deficiency is bolded in red, indicating to the customer a higher importance. Mark another question deficient, and this time add a note, a photo, and a status. Repeat the inspection process until you have inspected all required forms, systems, and assets. Once you are finished with the entire inspection, tap Review and Complete. Once you have reviewed and completed the inspection, tap Tech Signature and use your finger to electronically sign the inspection. If you have the client there with you, have them sign in the provided client signature space and use the keyboard to type their name. When done collecting signatures, tap Complete. You will then be asked to confirm your selection. Tap Yes. It is important to note that the inspection has not been sent to the office. After you mark the inspection complete, you will be directed back to the inspection screen. From here, if you are connected to the internet or Wi-Fi, tap Send to Office. It is only after you tap this button that the inspection will be sent to the office and moved to the Completed tab. One way to confirm that it's been sent back to the office is to note that underneath the blue button, it will timestamp the date and time that it has been sent back to the office.